Sub shitters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to Nispy Reviews where today we have ourselves a track from an axe named Relentless Pursuit titled Wildfire and if we switch over to here we have ourselves a track on the screen and now we're going to listen through this track from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go and make it full screen and we're going to check this out. I like the press that is set at the start with the down tuned guitar parts and the drums. I like the sound of the vocals and the melodies that we've got here. They're, um, they work well with the synth pad that we've got. It sounds like the guitars are a little bit quiet on the sides, but that's okay. It's got a whole lot of low end resonance, you know? I like the effects that are put on the vocals with the reverbs and the delays kind of spreading around the place. It's almost like the focus is more on like the drums and the vocals rather than the guitar parts. Like this, the lead there is a sub layer. We've got a catchy chord progression though. I like the choice here for the harmony. Makes it be mid, mid 2000s kind of emo all up vibes. Groovy rough as well. Dun 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 dun. You know, there's clear contrast between this and the hook part, you know. Is there a bass guitar in there? Cause I think there is in the low end. There's a lead line in there that sounds like it's a little bit dissonant against the other elements of the mix here. Like there's a discord, like a little bit discordant. But I do like how the drums are leveled in this part. They're, fit, they're good, they're nice. No, the, the studio production is actually good. I like this. Cool. All right, nice. And this is effectively my review of this track titled uh, Wildfire by Relentless Pursuit. What do I think it's about? I think it's about a, um, you know, someone calling out to this other person saying, you know, I know the world's going to 
bursting into flames, basically. But I just want you to know that you're someone I'm passionate about. I need you at this time. Um, you're making everything worth it and this chaos and fury and everything like that. You know, I, I think it's a beautiful message. I'm sure a lot of people will be able to relate to that. Um, I think that, you know, the track itself with the vocals was, was good. I like the effects on the vocals. They get this ethereal kind of otherworldliness to the tone of it. I think the reverb delay chains kind of helped to sort of like ether out the vocals a little bit. There was a roundness to them and a softness to them because the majority of the time he was in his head voice there. And I do like the Grello stuff when we learn this pursuit because full disclosure, I've reviewed his stuff before, but it was nice to hear his sort of cleaner stuff. Um, so that's cool. You know, we, we had an understanding of like Melody's music theory and composition because the uh, no choices we put in those vocal sections were good. I liked it. That wasn't too overcomplicated. The tonality of it was, showed a bit of a vulnerability and, and, and that was great as well to make it more believable that they really needed that person. And all in all, I think that tonally it was fine, you know. The, the vocals were good for what I've heard from Relos Pursuit and it's a step in a really positive direction. The track at 3 minutes 33 is nicely structured and the length is good within a 2-4 to four minute sweet spot. I think that we had a nice variation of different sections between the guitar and drum parts, the instrumental accompaniments and like the intro and such to the sort of the occasional synths and piano parts as well and breaks there. The, there were like verses and, and choruses and stuff like that as well sprinkled and dispersed throughout there, which was great. There was a lot of variation there, you know, in regards to the different components there and it never became stale with different chord progressions and different grooves and different drum fills to kind of sprinkle it out. I mean, like the drums, there were lots of different patterns that we had there alongside the main sort of eighth note grooves with the 16th intonations there. So that was dope, you know. I'm not sure if there was a bass line there or not, but either way, it was fine. I'm happy with how that sounded. Um, it was nice. If there was a bass, it was working well with the root notes of the chord. Uh, but the down-tuned guitars, you know, there was a lot of low-end resonance in those guitars, but for what we had there with the tone, I still think they were okay in the mix. I did listen to this through um, another set of speakers um, earlier, just when I was just, just like hearing through the tracks I was going to have today. Not like the whole thing, but like, you know, like how you load up a YouTube video and it like just starts the first few seconds of it. Yeah. Um, before you can pause it. And um, I wasn't sure if the guitars were there, but that's okay. They're definitely there. The drums are very dominant in the mix, but the guitars are definitely there in the headphones. And there were subtle little sort of sub lead lines that articulated the sort of catchy chord progressions in the chorus and uh, kind of left the uh, you know, things a little bit less, more kind of low end, kind of thuggish in the verse parts. And, and again, I like the synth parts at the end. That was a tone of it through a few of other tracks from Limitless Pursuit. So that, that was nice. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with it for the most part. I think that um, the recording, mixing and mastering with this one was was good. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's an improvement upon some of the other stuff I've heard. I, I think there was, the, the vocals were done well and I liked the, the the queuing and filtering of those with the effects, reverb and delay tails. I think that um, the drums were nice and punchy, although I'm wonder, still wondering if they're a little bit over compressed, but aside from that, it's fine. Um, the guitars, they had a bit of low end resonance going on there, but you could hear them. There was a bit of chug. It was just a very kind of muddy kind of tone to the guitars, but it kind of suits the style of music here. If they're too sharp, it can kind of cut into the mix a little bit and mess with the softness of the vocals. So that was, that was okay. I mean, in a sense, obviously the piano lines were filtered to be kind of like brighter elements in the mid to high ranges. So that was nice notching of stuff in the frequency spectrum. Um, nice and wide in the stereo field, um, you know, nice and loud without pumping with decent level length throughout. And yeah, this is effectively my review of this track, Wildfire by Relentless Pursuit. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go show them some love via their various social medias and uh, their YouTube page and stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as they either help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands out.